Hello people of the internet and uh, welcome back to the channel and thanks for sticking with me. I thought when the, the Audi convertible and the S3 went I might lose a lot of people, understandably. A lot of people have uh, subscribed to the channel for that content but so far doing the right so thank you. Um, today first job on the, the new BMW. Um, dash cam. Uh, this needs to be hardwired in, slightly different to how I've done it before. Um, so yeah, let me show you the car quickly and then let me take you through what I'm doing. So I'm not sure how well this picks up on camera, but the colour of this car is carbon black. And when we looked at the colour and when we looked at the car, it really looks like a deep blue. It's very bizarre. Let me, let me get you in close, see if that actually picks up on camera. Um, when the light hits it, it turns into a real deep sort of Oh, it's it's kind of a real dark blue, um, like a royal blue, I guess. But as you move around the car, <laughs> it goes black. It's a very interesting colour and a very interesting car. Um, we've put some miles on it now, um, so yeah, just got to get the dash cam wired in because um, that obviously lowers your insurance. And um, yeah, then just have a quick look round. Um, I don't know what to do after that. <laughs> It's not going to be much content this time of the year, I'll be honest. But um, yeah, there'll be a few little jobs to do on this. But uh, I guess mainly cleaning, getting it all um, shined up, getting some sort of uh, wax protection on it. It has been done already, but uh, you know me. I like to do my own bit as well. Right, let's stop waffling. Let's show you what I've got. Such a lazy car, this. Let me show you something. Ready? <laughs> Feel that? Opens it up for you. Right, so here's what I've got to do. Uh, this is my old Van 2 dash cam. And this is a hardwired Chinglish um, power supply for it. Now, let me just uh, give you a second. I'm going to show you where the fuse box is in this because it's really bizarre. Right, so what you have to do is lift up your boot liner and give it a sharp tug like that. And there's where we're aiming for. There's your fuse box in the boot. Most bizarre. So, as you can see from the wire, it has got an inline fuse and obviously uh, an air strap there. So that needs to be wired into the fuse box itself. Now, apparently, the fuse to use is that, let me focus in on it, that back one, um, the 5 amp one. So that's where it's going to go. And it replaces the fuse but also powers the uh, dash cam as well. And apparently, that is a switch supply. So I think it's after 10 seconds of uh, switching the car off, it disconnects power. So that is the one I want. Um, all I've got to do is uh, channel it all the way up here into the headlining and through to the front of the car. Simples really. So one of the first jobs I've done is removed this cushion here. So this particular trim goes just under the seat belt there. You just give it a little bit of a jank and add it pops and this um, basically is the clip at the top there so once you've got that plastic panel off click that in and then this just pulls out so that now gives me access to not only the boot area here to feed the wire through but um, also to go up the pillar which I'm going to need to do as well right let's get started okay so so far um, I've got it behind there like that I've got the box the power box just there, I'll tuck that away in a minute. Um, but literally, if you pull your weather seal off here, you can get behind that panel there. You may need to just pull it out a little bit, but pull those off. You can get behind there, tuck the wire in, all the way at that pillar, and then just gonna go across the roof line. Yeah, for these tricky little areas where you've got the B post, just feed yourself a bit of good strong wire through it, and then you can basically tuck your wire on the end of it with a bit of masking tape. And gently feed it through. Simples. So there you go, that's the wire fed through, tucked away in the headline there, and when you put your rubber back on again, it's all. Let me go inside, show you. It's all hidden. There you go. Nothing to see here. So what I'm left with now is the wire here, and that needs to now go across to there gonna hide it just behind the mirror so I need to if I can try and go diagonally 
give myself plenty of wire. Um, it will go to there and across, but I just want to give myself a little bit more to play with, just in case. So just one word of caution, remember there is airbags and everything behind here for your side curtains. Um, so to make it a little easier on myself, I've just popped that cover off there, I hope you can see that. And I'm gonna take a star drive to that screw and I'm gonna remove the sun visor, just to give myself a little bit more room to work with. So there you go, that's off. Um, there is a plug there, you can take it off if you want, but there's plenty of wire, so I'm just gonna give myself, uh, as you can see, a little bit more breathing space. Um, to work through the headline to the windscreen. So there you go, wires all tucked away, all behind the headline there. Um, yeah, dropping that, that one screw from the sun visor did make a huge amount of difference. Um, so yeah, I've got plenty of wire to play with now. I can just obviously tuck that up inside the headline itself and mount the dash cam. Of course, don't forget to put your rubber on properly. The best way to do this is rather than just trying to put it on, bend it in like that. So it finds its own line and it, uh, you'll find it will go in quite easily. So now all that remains is to get that back in place again. And I can't do this in one hand, but basically you've got two pokes just there. And as I said, there's a clip at the top. Uh, so let me get it in because I've got to move all the seatbelt and everything. So there you go. So you can just see there's a bracket at the bottom there. And that's where the brass tab goes into. And then that fits down like that and just clips back in place at the back there. And all remains is to put the black plastic cover on. And there you go, all back in place again. No wires showing. So the last bit I've got to do now is obviously put the earth strap on and just plug it into that uh, five amp fuse just there. I think I'm gonna use one of these posts here. They look ideal for uh, taking an earth strap off um, because they do connect to the body. Right, let's get that done. Okay, so the fuse is pulled. The replacement one's put in there. Just some tidy up work to do on these wires. And uh, right, let's go and switch the ignition on and see what happens. So there you go, it's nicely tucked away behind the mirror. Um, I don't use the driver facing cam, so it doesn't matter about that. Just plug it at the top there and uh, obviously stuck to the windscreen. So um, the moment of truth, keys in my pocket. Will it work? Hey! There you go. We are recording. Let's just aim that down a little bit, tighten that up a little bit. I think we're good. So there you go. Wasn't too much of a, a job to do. Um, obviously getting it behind all the pillars and everything is the main job, but um, yeah, it, uh, it wasn't that bad a job. Um, but the, these are quite flexible to be honest, so you've got a little bit of movement, plenty of room to, to move and get your wires behind. But there you go, there it is, the webcam, webcam, the dash cam is installed. So hopefully this first video on the BM has been rather useful. Um, I'll have a quick walk around the car, um, just as an outro, but um, more content to come. Um, <laughs> when, when the weather dries up, as you can see, it's a rainy old day today, and when there's more stuff to do on the, uh, on the new car. But thanks for joining me, thanks for sticking with me, and uh, like, subscribe if you haven't done already. Catch you later, YouTube. Have a great day.